Are you tired of it taking 24 hours to 48 hours to make your bone broth? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make an herbal bone broth in 90 minutes. Hello everyone, thank you so much for all of your thoughts, your emails, and your comments on my first two videos that I've done. Uh, the first one I made for you, a mint chocolate chip body cream that's just so divine. Uh, and then the second video, I made a multi-purpose citrus cleaner that you can swap out all of your cleaning products for and use it for every single kind of surface in your home. Today, I'm really excited to share with you how to make an herbal bone broth. You are gonna wanna have this recipe for the cold and wintry season where you wanna whip up soups and all different kinds of comfort foods that use bone broth. But before we get into that, let me just quickly tell you who I am again. I'm Jackie Ritz. I am the founder of the Paleo Mama blog, which is a health and wellness website. I'm also the author of the book that you can get on Amazon called Everyday Natural. And I'm launching my second book on December 3rd, which is called The Home Apothecary, Home Crafted Recipes Using Herbs and Essential Oils. So I wanna share with you a recipe from that book right now. And this is herbal bone broth, and you are gonna to wanna to make this ASAP. So I first started making bone broth about 10 years ago. And I was really frustrated because it would take me all day, night, and usually the next day for the bone broth to simmer on my stove. And of course, it made my stomach so hungry because I would smell it all throughout the house all day long. When I discovered making bone broth in my Instant Pot, my life changed. And so if you don't have an Instant Pot yet, it is a pressure cooker. It's a modern day pressure cooker and you can literally cook your bone broth in 90 minutes and it'll come out just as good as if you were to simmer it on the stove all day long and in fact i get a lot more gelatin when i'm able to use my instant pot so let me go over the ingredients of my herbal bone broth which you can find in my brand new book the home apothecary coming out on december 3rd so you're going to need a half a cup of raw apple cider vinegar two carrots two celery stalks, you're gonna want one onion, two garlic cloves, these are astragalus slices, and astragalus comes from China, it's prized for its very pleasant and sweet flavor, and it's very deeply uh, nourishing to the body, it's an adaptogen, so that's why we're putting it in this recipe. You want a tablespoon of black peppercorn, you want a half a cup of nettles. Stinging nettles is also a food and a medicine, high in vitamins and minerals and chlorophyll. And it's also very high in iron, so it's great for pregnant or breastfeeding women. You want a half a cup of dried mushroom or one cup of fresh mushrooms. You want about two tablespoons of seaweed. This is optional, but it's very, very good for your body, high in minerals. Get it from a good source because it also accumulates heavy metals, so you want it from healthy waters. It's about two teaspoons of dried thyme. And then the last thing you want is two bay leaves. So next you need about two to four pounds of bones. And so you can use bones from a chicken carcass or a duck carcass pork bones uh, and beef bones, buffalo bones, I've chosen to use beef bones. And so because I'm using beef bones, if you pop them into the oven for about 15 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then it can really develop a deep and very delicious taste to your broth. And so I found that roasting my marrow bones for about 15 minutes before I put it into my recipe in my bone broth, it really helps to develop a delicious flavor. So don't forget your bones, and we're gonna add those directly into the crock pot along with the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna chop all of the bigger in food ingredients up into really tiny pieces. That way it can, it can extract the medicine from the food a lot better. So I used to just take my carrot, break it, and throw it in, but now I chop it up so that it can actually really do a great job at extracting the medicine from the carrot. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna add the bones directly into the Instant Pot with the rest of the ingredients. So 
So next we're gonna fill it with water up to the top. And so just take your bowl out of your Instant Pot, or if you're using a crock pot, take your bowl out of that. You're gonna to wanna to add about a gallon of water, or if you have the Instant Pot, I like to add right up to, uh, I think it's about 11 cups. So we're gonna add right up to there. So I just take it over to the sink. That's the easiest way to do it. And you can just fill it up directly in your sink until you have about nine cups of, oh no, about 11 cups of water. So next we wanna take your pot and put it back in your Instant Pot, put the lid on, and then you're going to hit the manual button. So right here, and we wanna go all the way down <laughs> to 90 minutes. You wanna let it naturally release and then when you're done, all you have to do is just filter out the bones and the vegetables and you have yourself a wonderful bone broth. So that is how you make herbal bone broth, everyone. I hope that you enjoy this and make your bone broth in 90 minutes or less. That means you can make it in the morning and have it ready for dinner. All right, so the 90 minutes is up and I let my Instant Pot naturally release. If you're using a slow cooker, you wanna cook it for about 12 to 24 hours and let the let it cool so this has cooled down for about 20 or 30 minutes and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the stock and i'm going to filter it in a pot and then store it so i like to use a cheesecloth for this so i just lay the cheesecloth over my um my colander right here and i'm going to pour my stock directly into it because we have all these herbs and so you might, it might splash a little bit, but if you just go slow, <laughs> it'll work out just fine. So we have all of these herbs in here, and so I like to filter them out really, really well, and then squeeze the cheesecloth as much as I can. And so you can see it's still steaming now. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for just a few minutes and let all of that goodness drain into my pot um, and then after it drains you want to just take your cheesecloth like this and squeeze all of that out and so a lot of people forget this step but there's a lot of good medicine still that has been extracted that's in the cheesecloth so i just like to just kind of massage it out and push it out on here and then as you can see in the pot we have a really really beautiful stock that we can use for so many different ways. And so I make a gallon or two at a time. So I like to freeze half of my stock and then use half of it throughout the week. So if you're making a soup or something, you can go right ahead and start making your soup. But if you wanna freeze some, I like to put some in some freezer Ziploc bags or any kind of um, freezer Tupperware that you have and just write the date on it and use it within the next year and it should be good. So I hope that you enjoyed this video on making some herbal bone broth in 90 minutes and that you go out there and you make some amazing bone broth for you and your family because it truly is one of the best medicines that you could really have in your home. So by now, I hope that you have seen how much time and money you can save making your own home-crafted recipes using herbs and essential oils. I hope that you take the next step into your health and that you purchase my brand new ebook, The Home Apothecary, Home-Crafted Recipes Using Herbs and Essential Oils. I'm so excited to finally release this ebook to you on December 3rd. So you'll get an email or you'll see the video posted on social media uh, with my offer that I have for you. I'm going to drop the price by $5 during the week of December 3rd through December 10th. And so you can get this brand new ebook from me loaded with recipes using herbs and essential oils with over 70 recipes in it for your home, for your kitchen, for your body, and also for cleaning around your home. You can get this for only $14.97. And so look for this on Monday because after I will be raising the price back up on December 11th to 1997, that will be the regular price on December 11th. So make sure that you snag this awesome deal 
during my special week of when I'm launching this ebook. I can't wait for you guys to get this and for you to read it and just start creating some beautiful recipes using herbs and essential oils. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you comment below in the comments and send me an email if you have any questions. Let me know how excited you are. I can't wait for you guys to purchase this ebook.